NAACP. Okay. Yes. How about you? Do what? Uh, what is the civil rights movement? I work in uh, uh, as a student at Duke, at Duke University. Oh wow! Uh, in the uh, street movements of uh, the '61 era. Oh wow! Yeah, and uh, uh, that's that's when it turned me around. The civil rights movement turned me around when I was uh, 20 years old. So. Wow! How did it turn? What, 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 what was your story? How did well, it turn you I around? Well, I walked uptown one day, saw all the black people on one side of the street, all the white people on the other side of the street. White people were throwing rocks and bottles on them, and black people were saying, "It's time that our time has come. We've been waiting 400 years for this." So something's got to change, and so I changed right there on the spot. Wow! Was your family supportive? Uh, not quite. <laughs> not quite. They were not quite supportive. Uh, but my brother, I have three brothers. I mean, I'm one of three sons. And uh, all of us are on the other side of the fence from our parents. And that's what happened. That generation was a, was a big, huge gap. Same thing's happening uh, out in, in, this, in our day and time, to some extent, between some representatives up to the house here yeah. and their families back home. We know are progressive uh, people, but their legislature, their representatives, are uh, not, on, not on the same ticket. Have, you, have your families been supportive of you all coming up here? Very oh, much. Oh, yes. Very much. Oh, yes. Very much. Family, church, friends, church. everybody. It all, and, and, and in light of everything, well, I guess we're going for them also. Yeah. yeah. So when, when we come to do this, we bring God and family and yeah. friends and everybody else. What kind of resistance did you face when you were doing the civil rights work? Well, then we, uh, actually, they didn't catch me. So okay. <laughs> it was sort of a, if you catch me, you're fine. Yeah. yeah. But back then we were with NAAC, uh, NAACP yeah. also, but uh, yeah, it was a it was a run it was a kind of a running game then. I read that the Wilmington Five were just now parted. Yes, yes, I heard that. So it seems it's still like there's still some struggle. That it's not like I think to be able to tell the story of the civil rights movement that it ended and everything was great and perfect, mm -hmm. but it seems like it's more of an ongoing struggle. It is. It is. It is. It never. Well, from 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 my from my point of view, it never stops. Because every time you get you, you you reach one apex, another one will evolve. So, so what do you Turn think off. young people today should be working on? Well, not taking that step back, mm -hmm. but picking up from where it is right now and trying to be a part of that positive way of making it continue to happen. Okay. I think I think a, a one huge thing is for uh, the women of the next generation. Take a huge step. I think exactly. Hillary Clinton is exactly right. The women's movement is the most important thing globally mm -hmm. to get consciousness of and to, to move all of those issues. Well, we want to thank you guys for performing, even thank though you, you kind of risked. We well, almost we all, jumped the gun with an arrest. We weren't going to go to jail, but thanks to you, we might be in there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I have a habit of creating accidental arrests. <laughs> keep, keep, on, uh, keep on making a disturbance. Yeah. Have a safe drive.